YouTube kick. So I wanted to get into this actual um, conversation that we've been having about the extra letters. And I remember, I remember I had talked to you guys about the extra letters that got added to the LGBT. And now we kind of got a uh, a look into it. So let's take a let's take a look. We can go into the article, but we're not going to do that for this one. We're just going to go off what we just saw here because the article pretty much says the same thing. So I don't need to go into it. So let's take a look. I am seeing some talk about how this new 2STNBGD acronym has replaced the old one. So it used to be like 2SL, something like that, plus. So as we can see, the LGBT is kind of like LGBT 2STNBG. BGD. That's too many letters. And you added another B and another G? Anyway. So this acronym, this additional acronym specifically made to target kids for medical a medicalization. It stands for two spirit, transgender, non-binary, and other gender diverse children and youth. Okay. So this is two spirited, trans, non-binary, gender diverse. Man, that's so confusing. Gender diverse children and youth. Because you see, any children that don't perfectly fit the preferred gender stereotypes of whatever completely brain dead adults are making, these decisions now require gender affirming care. We just made a video on that when somebody talks about how they were into girly things and all that stuff growing up, so therefore it makes them a woman. It's the same thing, right? Adding all these letters is to eventually get to the kids. And that's why I say I kind of disagree now with the LGBT. I'm sure at some point in my life I was just ignoring them. But now I say if you're a part of it, then I have to question a lot of things. Because I know there's people who are pushing against it, but there's not enough of y'all pushing against it. From what I can tell, the vast majority of the LGBT does think this way. Now, I could be wrong on that, but I can't tell. It seems like every day I see another person who considers themselves LGBT, 2STNBGDL plus A, all this other stuff. I, every time I see somebody come out and speak about it, I see more often than not these people who are saying, no, that's that we are for this. We think kids should be transitioned. We think kids should do that. You got your bigger people saying it, like your Elliot Page, your Ariana Grande's all saying this same stuff. So I, it's hard for me to be like, oh, no, they're two different people because I can't tell. But I could be completely wrong. You know, if the LGBT and there's more people to come. And here's the thing about us, a group like the LGBT is nobody runs it. It's a group of people. So it's really it's even harder to say who, what to believe and what not to believe because there's no leader. Right. There's nothing that we can actually believe. So I. I don't know who the prominent voice is like who's somebody I consider like LGBT activist that's famous or something somebody who who LGBT people would back up and be like yeah that person's right because there's so much dissension in that in that uh, in that group that I, I have no idea who is who now and now that they are adding these extra letters that are that I knew about the 2S I knew about the 2 spirited which they try to say that's part of the Native American thing um, I, I'm just completely lost of what we're trying to do. And I do understand that they are trying to get to our children with the agenda of stereotypes. Every chance they get any kid who doesn't fall into the box perfectly is just going to be like, oh, well, you know what? They're a girl. They're a boy. And those are the same people that say we shouldn't put labels on people. But you guys, any chance y'all get, put labels on people. Help it make sense to me. I know this is a short little video. I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on this. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Peace.